Hey there, gearheads and av geeks. Today we're diving into the gritty world of turboprop airliners. These workhorses might not have the glamour of a jumbo jet, but they get the job done, hauling passengers and cargo across regional routes with grit and efficiency. In this corner we have the ATR 72500, a European contender known for its rugged reliability. And in the opposite corner, hailing from Canada, we have the Bombardier Q400, a technologically advanced speedster. Both aircraft have earned their stripes in the aviation industry, but how do they stack up head to head? Let's break it down, piece by piece, and see which one comes out on top. We'll be looking at everything from their production histories and market values to their fuel efficiency and design quirks. By the end, you'll have a solid understanding of what makes these turboprops tick and which one might be the right fit for your next regional adventure. So strap in, grab your toolkits, and let's get our hands dirty with the ATR 72500 and the Bombardier Q400. First things first, let's talk numbers. The ATR 72500, a product of the French-Italian ATR consortium, first took to the skies in 1988 and enjoyed a healthy production run until 2011. Today you can snag a used ATR 72500 for around $7 to $10 million, depending on its age and condition. That's a pretty good deal for a reliable workhorse. On the other side of the ring, we have the Bombardier Q400, a product of Bombardier Aerospace in Canada. Production for this model began in 1996 and is still ongoing, demonstrating its continued popularity in the market. A brand new Q400 will set you back a cool $32 million, while used models can be found in the $12 to $18 million range. The Q400's higher price tag reflects its modern technology and ongoing production. Now, let's get down to brass tacks. How much does it cost to keep these birds in the air? The ATR 72500 has a variable cost of around $1,500 per flight hour, which includes fuel, maintenance, and crew expenses. It cruises at a respectable 300 knots, getting passengers where they need to go at a decent clip. The Bombardier Q400, on the other hand, boasts a slightly higher variable cost of around $1,800 per flight hour. This is offset, however, by its impressive speed. The Q400 can reach a cruising speed of 360 knots, making it one of the fastest turboprop airliners in the sky. This speed advantage translates to shorter flight times and potentially more flights per day, which can impact an airline's bottom line. Section 4. Passenger Experience, Cabin Comfort, and Configurations Let's face it folks, passenger comfort matters. Nobody wants to be crammed into a flying sardine can. The ATR 72500 offers a cabin volume of 54.8 cubic meters and can accommodate up to 74 passengers in a standard configuration. It features large overhead bins and comfortable seating, making it a pleasant ride for short to medium haul flights. The Bombardier Q400 with its larger fuselage boasts a more spacious cabin volume of 63.4 cubic meters. It can comfortably accommodate up to 90 passengers in a high-density configuration, making it a popular choice for airlines looking to maximize passenger capacity. Section 5 Technical Prowess Avionics and Payload Capabilities Moving on to the tech specs, both the ATR 72500 and Q400 are equipped with modern avionics suites, including advanced navigation and communication systems. The Q400, however, holds a slight edge in this department, featuring a more integrated and user-friendly flight deck. When it comes to payload capacity, the ATR 72500 can haul up to 7,500 kilograms of cargo, making it a capable freighter for regional routes. The Q400, with its larger size, trumps this with a maximum payload capacity of 9,070 kilograms. This additional capacity allows airlines to transport more cargo or luggage, generating more revenue. Section 6. Flight Operations, Fuel Consumption, and Crew Requirements Let's talk fuel efficiency, a crucial factor in today's cost-conscious aviation industry. The ATR 72500 sips fuel at a rate of 0.65 kilograms per kilometer, making it one of the most fuel-efficient turboprops in its class. The Q400, while slightly thirstier with a fuel burn rate of 0.78 kilograms per kilometer, still boasts impressive fuel efficiency compared to older turboprop models. Both aircraft require a crew of two pilots, minimizing personnel costs for airlines. Let's have a gentleman's agreement. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell for more videos like this one.